Bruce Lee was a great inspiration for me. He always talked about, you know, be water. When you put water in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. You put water in a teacup, it becomes the teacup. You know, that generally just means you be more versatile. I think I apply a lot of that versatility in my hairdressing skills in the way I do certain things. But if we actually open up ourselves to learning different techniques to do a single haircut, it, it opens a different perspective on how certain things can be done. When I finished high school, I was one of those kids that didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I kind of followed a lot of my friends like if they decided to do business, I thought, oh, I'll do business and that. But I did go to college for a little bit. But in between all that, I've always worked in a hairdressing salon. And then really quickly when I became um, a senior, I knew how to do pretty much everything. But I didn't know how to cut Asian hair. And then that's when I actually decided to go to back to Asia. And when I was in Asia, um, I think that was the lowest point of you know, my hairdressing career because I had to pretty much relearn and redo everything I thought I knew about hairdressing. Even though there was a very difficult time of my hairdressing career, I, I was given the opportunity to do a lot of fashion shows, a lot of um, photo shoots, a lot of work for magazines. And because of that, it gave me um, a deeper understanding on how to play around with Asian hair. I was just thrown into the pit pretty much and just forced to learn, just forced to just do well. And my ex boss back in Malaysia, he was a great mentor to me because he was such a great businessman. And he actually taught me how to open up and learn how to run a salon in a more business perspective. It's all about creating a balance between good business and keeping the salon more artistic as well. Because I built the entire salon myself um, and making it look as creative as I possibly could and you know basically putting you know bits and pieces of myself into the entire salon. Um, I think you know, they because it's so different it just stands out by itself. The truth is it doesn't matter how skillful you are or how talented of a hairdresser you are or, or how many customers I can do a day. End of the day, I still need a really strong team to actually back me up. With my staff, I like to keep everybody closer like a family. We do a lot of things together, we, we cycle, we do a lot of activities together, and we do a lot of training together as well. For me, it's not about teaching my staff what to do and how to do certain things, but it's more about sharing my experiences. When I was starting cutting hair, I was always too afraid to make mistakes, but I realized making mistakes is what makes you grow. This is where I love, you know, I never actually ever get my hair cut in my own salon. Because I believe when you actually go into other salons and opening up yourself, you, you get to learn what other people are doing. Because a lot of hairdressers, you know, get stuck in their own salon half time. They, they forget what it's like being a customer. I don't think that I'm successful yet. I think I'm still in between my journey into tr trying to reach my goal. I don't think there really is. Nobody actually reaches that goal. Once you reach it to the point that you think you reach a goal, and when you, when you get about there, you realize that there's so many other things. So I think every single day is a new goal, it's a new challenge. The Japanese had a saying that the nail that sticks up always gets hammered down. I think for me, if the nail sticks out far enough, it can never be hammered down.